<laughs> it was um, made over a year and a half. Um, so it was a very long process and it's only a 10 minute film, but it's been such, such a fun process to work on. Um, we were able to get Stephen Fry on it. So that was also a massive delight. And um, yeah, I just worked very closely um, with the director um, throughout. And as an editor, normally, you know, we come at the end of the filmmaking process, but with animation, I was there for the beginning too, because um, you kind of, you're there to edit the storyboard to like lock down the story before um, they animate the film. So I was there basically throughout the whole process. And it's, yeah, it's very exciting to see that it's going somewhere now. It's been described as a comedy horror animation. <laughs> so it sounds like quite a niche genre. What well, can you tell us about the storyline behind this film? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so the story was born out of um, my director's uh, fear of getting to sleep, basically. Um, and that's like a horror film for her every night. <laughs> So um, we thought that we'd start the film as a horror and then actually um, basically what happens is she has all these sleep aids that help her get to sleep and then one night um, there's a power cut which takes all those sleep aids away um, and then she's just left with her own thoughts and basically past um, versions of herself haunt her at night but at the beginning we don't know that we just think that um, people are breaking into the house so it starts off very like creepy and mysterious and you know follows all the horror tropes and then actually we realize that they're just embarrassing versions of herself and it turns into comedy um so yeah it's quite a crazy film and this was put together during the pandemic so what challenges did that pose for you yeah i mean there were massive delays to production um and everything just it just um we we're able luckily to do everything but everything took a lot longer um so we were meant to finish i think january and we finished in march um but you know apart from that we were able to to continue everything quite smoothly luckily so finalists will be announced on the 9th of june what would winning mean to you i mean it's quite the accolade something to add onto your your cv just as you're graduating as well yeah yeah i mean wow it would be amazing um i think the director deserves that she put her heart and soul into it um it would be amazing i mean we'd be flown out to la as well which would be really nice um and I'd, yeah, I'd be really, really happy.